Yu-Gi-Oh! Roulette Tournament, dueling against of Beyblade. What? <laughs> I think there's a grammar error here. But who knows, maybe there's gonna be another, like, plain, plain scenario. <laughs> just dueling against of Beyblade just sounds wrong. Oh, I'm used to grammar errors at this point. And like I've never made any. So, yeah. After the events of the previous episode, which I'm going to pretend that I remember perfectly, but my brain's a little hazy because it's like 9 in the morning. Not even. Uh, uh, that's right, everyone tried to fix their decks, and then I, then I went to do a thing at a place with people. I did some deck editing, and then did the deck profile, evidently. And Adrian and his brother talked. It's not that I'm not this series is forgettable, it's just I'm having a bad memory. Lady Rose Duel Academy. You know, I was joking about the lack of females. <laughs> ah, crud. Oh, so you do have a hot bait. Date, like a little bish. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you do. <laughs> what, is it your mom or something? So now Jordan's gotta deal with the stalkers. I'm deck getting, and Tenman's gotta deal with either a hot date or his, or his mother. 50 50, honestly. Like a little bish because that's a good way of censoring. Ah, a ghost! Oh no, you already defeated. You were a ghost and a kid. And then again, it's the usual kind of uh, anime thing. We're just like, oh look, everyone looks at the same generic mood because it helps the budget. <laughs> and I'm not marrying you until you duel me. So is it going to be a child? I imagine this is the child in the sense of, I'm not a child, I'm 13 years old! That officially makes me not a child anymore! <laughs> but his twist is he's only 12 and a half, just pretend to be a 13 year old because he's really tall for his age. <laughs> but maybe he is a, or maybe he's an adult and he's just really short and actually he's coming across as, or maybe we're just coming across as this is a general prick. What the heck is that monster? A Lightbringer Lucifer. Hmm. I don't know if that's a real card or not. After all, there are a lot of OCD and vanilla monsters that don't see play. Oh, Disc Magician and some other one. Lord of Zemia. And a Beyblade. Let it rip! Yeah. Oh, come on, it's a baby. It, this reminds me of the Revelations episode. We ain't calling you for dinner. This reminds me of the Revelations episode where they had the Baku gun. Just like, what the fudge? I'll give credit to Lord of Zemi. He's got a cool design. Ancient geez. Yeah. Vanilla beatdown, my friend. Oh no, I'm gonna be attacked by a blade blade and. <laughs> Hindsight, I shouldn't have been so cocky. He then dies of blood loss. Come on, have an out. Nutrient Z, nice. Well, that. Alright, I got my blood back. Ah, it's gone again! Well, that never will. That will never get old. What activate nutrients? You're losing all this blood. You're losing all this blood, and then here comes Doctor Acula. Then again, I wonder if anyone's ever gone to a blood drive dressed as a vampire. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> humans are messed up. Oh no, Jinzo number seven. Whatever shall I do? Oh. Oh, I see where this is going. Let me guess. Double summon? Oh, okay. Makes 
sense. <laughs> Thank you for skipping each individual attack. I have no body to deal blood with. Or I just... That badass. It's like Zane with the electric collars. Reminds me of like when Yugi summons the three knight, his three knights, jacks, kings, and queens. It's like you'll never let them survive a turn, and then he doesn't. They all survive the turn. Here comes the Senior Fist of Fate. And again, I have a friend who claims that the one where he's staying in the empty room is more badass than the one where he's trying to destroy Egypt. Screw you. <laughs> Standing in a room is nice, but trying to destroy something displays more power. No, everyone has the right to their opinion, I guess. Even the wrong ones. Oh boy. Why Lucifer? Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? Because of three reasons, activates three limit removals. Oh great, Isaku. Your kid acting childish and you never really be good. I at one point wanted to be like, because of three reasons, activates three limiter removals. <laughs> oh, ah, boom. I love that sort of OTK stuff. Limiter removal is so dang... <laughs> In the right scenario, it's so dang busted. <laughs> What do these crystals even do? Are they gonna give us another god card? Green. Purple. Oh no, it's the Red Ribbon Army. Oh, well, I guess it's good they have names at all. I want there to be at some point so many mooks that they're just going to generic names. Ah, baby blue, sapphire blue, sky gray, something like that, sky blue, ash gray. Might get there at some point, but who knows, there's still time. And the only reason you survived and you go to the shower room is because you're stronger than that. He's training at him. Wait, is that meant to be Atem as in the Pharaoh? Or is it just like a- or is that an- Oh, maybe it's just an accurate thing, even though I don't think Adam is a color. Whatever. We want to go to Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Hmm. Bryce Tenma didn't get one. Well, it's cut to black. Her? Dun dun dun. What? A monkey? Hey, the new friend's a monkey. The monkey can talk. And then again, I shouldn't be shocked given Wheeler and GX. But now we're having Jordan's deck list. Of which we'll only probably get changed throughout the series if there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Pretty sub it's a pretty standard machine deck. Nothing wrong with it, just, you know. And <laughs> the DNA surgery and the limited removal combo is the one that makes up for all of it, though. I like how everyone seems to have a spirit barrier, though. <laughs> eh. 